Hey guys, Clawwolf here, and I'm back today with a new resource pack tutorial. This is a 1.12 resource pack tutorial. A lot of people were wondering uh, why some of my previous tutorials don't work. They do. There's just a couple little things that there is to be said. So I'm just going to go over in this video basically all my sound sound resource pack and game tutorials all in one. So this is going to be pretty much everything put together. So the first order of business is, I guess, replacing sound. So what we're going to want to do is first we're going to want to get a audio file to turn into a sound. So I think I have a couple musics here. <laughs> I have a couple sound effects. These are OGG sound effects, shotgun shot, shotgun shell. And then these are just some other stuff. Um, so here's the shotgun sound effect and we're going to put it right here and we can put it right here for now okay so we're going to want to add this shotgun sound effect to the game so we're going to do a couple of things with it oh hello compressing compressing anyway so the audio file type is a dot ogg you're going to want to find some kind of audio sound that you got that i'm not allowed to say how i got these sound effects because apparently that's against the terms of service um so you're going to have to somehow get one of these things uh oh shoot i put it in the wrong spot okay okay so now it's here okay so you're going to want to get some mp3 file or something like that and then turn it into an ogg file using online audio converters there's a lot of them just search mp3 to ogg or something like that or um yeah something like that you'll find you'll find sites that let you make oggs but you need an ogg file we're going to call this shotgun okay so we want to add this shotgun sound effect to the game because we want to add like custom sounds and stuff like uh, shotgun shooting so we're going to go into the sounds.json folder i'm going to have a download with this exact file called default 1.12 and it won't have anything, it'll, it'll have our, all the examples we go over here in it, um, but you can all easily remove them. Um, so you have, this is just default Minecraft with all the blocks and stuff besides a couple things from 1.12. Uh, but anyway, so we're going to move this shotgun into the sounds. Then we're going, inside the sounds, there's all these different folders, right? We're going to create a new folder, and we're going to title it custom. Uh, now, I normally put it under music in my last tutorial. You can put it under, see, oh, explode.ogg is here um it still works um the problem is uh sometimes people like it under custom music is better for loading long songs but you can just do custom if you don't want to lose it because there could you could have actual music in here and you don't want to get lost and not know where it is so custom shotgun so we're putting it in a folder called custom shotgun so we're going to go into the sounds.json and uh just so that we don't lose it we're going to copy this and we're going to go boop Boop, just like that. So now we have two there. Now you have an example with two. So explode.music. So it means explode is inside the musics folder. That's where it's located. And this is how we call it in the game. We type explode.music. Now for this one, we're going to call it in the game with custom.shotgun. And it's going to be located in the custom folder. And it's going to be a file titled shotgun. Just like that. So we have this set up. And then if you want to add another, you copy this much, paste it below, add a comma. Make sure that you're doing this right. A lot of people in the comments say they have a problem with their resource pack, and it's because they have these things messed up. Um, also, another thing to note, you cannot have capitals in the resource packs in 1.12. That's another thing that a lot of people get wrong. They add capitals, and they're like, the video doesn't work, but it does still work. You just put a capital. Um, that's the usual problem. So uh, let me just make sure that it's called shotgun. Okay, so now we're going to go into this world right here, and let's load a resource pack. Uh, default 1.12 cloud wolf there we go uh done and you can change that i'll show you how to change this if you want i just put it in there because yes uh, anyway so let's do the play sound so if you don't know how to use the play sound command now it's a good time to learn so and now's also a good time to turn your render chunks down okay so you're going to do slash play sound music dot explode or what we want the one we did was custom dot shotgun master is what uh, channel you want to play it on you pick master if you want everybody to always hear it because that'll just play it on here so whatever this is will be how loud it'll be and uh, if you change the channel to music weather hostile player whatever that means it'll be dependent on this slider so if i made this say player like that and i played it i wouldn't hear it because i turned my players off which it should be on but anyway so i put master so everyone hears it then who can hear it 
This is important because this is who can hear the sound. So if you want only specific players to hear it, or maybe just the person who shoots the shotgun to hear it, I don't know why, you're going to play this down. And then this is where the sound plays. Three tildes means wherever the command is being played at, this is where the sound is going to play from. So if you have kind of a quieter sound, if I move around, it'll sound like the music comes from here. It'll use uh, like kind of 3D audio to get quieter the further I get from it and closer, louder the closer I get to this block. Um, now, if I wanted to play at the player, we would do execute at A, and then this means go to the player and do this command. And then this command is to play the sound at where the player is to everybody who is uh, in the game, pretty much. Okay. Uh, also, be careful doing execute at A because it'll play the sound at everybody, so there will be multiple sounds going off. Uh, okay, so that's all. And then the next is the volume. If you put one, it'll be just the default volume sound. If you put two, it's not going to make the volume two blocks away. It's going to be two, pretty much two times louder. So keep it at one. Um, typically for most situations, but you can play around with it. If you put 100, it's pretty much 100 times louder, and it'll reach a lot of blocks. Um, but if you want, like, music to play in a very big area, just put, like, a 1,000, and it'll be fine, but it might lag a little bit. Then what you want to do is the pitch. Zero makes it low pitch. One makes it normal. Two makes it high pitch. Um, I put it at one because that's just what we want, but you can also do decimals, so 0 0.5 will make it between low and normal. Um, so I'm just going to do one. And I think that's all there is to say. Oh, I guess let's just do that. Okay. Uh, and then the last thing is the minimal volume. So sometimes uh, the so the minimal volume that you can hear it from, uh, you don't need to mess with this. It just has always has to be either nothing or one. So let's click this right here. There you go. You hear the shotgun sound. I'm actually glad that worked because I never tested this out. But I'm pretty confident in my resource back skills. Anyway, so you can hear the, the shotgun. Very nice. Okay, so you can hear the shotgun under custom.shotgun. Also, look what also works, the thing from the previous video that I made a year ago. Uh, hello? Okay, it could just be something. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it takes a while to hear. There you go. Okay, you can hear it. Yeah, so it still works. <laughs> Freaking myself out. So now we're going to move on to part two. This is replacing sounds. This is the easiest part to do. Take this shotgun. Oh, it's still exploding. And it's still exploding. It's a long sound. That's why I put it under music. Okay, so let's go to one of these folders because in the resource pack, there's a bunch of folders with all the default micro sounds except for some that are in 1.12. So we're going to go to random and we're going to go to bow and we are going to delete bow. We are going to paste our shotgun and rename shotgun.ogg to bow. And if you would stop blowing up, please. Okay, whatever. We're going to call it bow and then we're going to do F3T to reload the resource pack. Okay. So now that we have our chunk borders shown, ah, gee, okay. Uh, now that we pull out the bow, since we replaced the random bow sound to be the shotgun sound, but we still named it bow, watch what happens. Now our bow sounds like a shotgun. Um, that's a trick that I did in the newest map that I released called Lion Operation Lionsgate. Not necessarily, I replaced the bow sound to be the M4 shoot sound. Um, but yeah, that way when the skeletons would shoot, it sounds like they're shooting an M4. Really simple. That's it, guys. That's the play sound tutorial. Next up is going to be the damaged items and that kind of tutorial. That one is a little bit longer, but we got through it. We talked about play sound and how it works. We talked about how to add sounds. We talked about how to replace sounds. All of them in one. Really simple for you guys. Everybody wanted this. Next, we'll do damaged items. That has similar problems where you can't have capitals in pack in the resource pack, also one last additional thing to say, um, right here. Uh, this is how you change it. You go into this folder, the file, the pack. Change, you can change this to whatever your name is. Uh, you can change the make sure the pack format's three if you have an older resource pack. If you want to update a resource pack to a new one, just change the pack format to three and make sure that there's no capital letters in any of the files. That's what usually breaks with uh, 3D models in resource packs from old ones is the model. So you can change the picture right here. This is the picture. Just put a new PNG file in there and name it pack. Uh, this one is just Minecraft picture, but a little bit saturated. Uh, and that's pretty much all there is to say about this, guys. We will go on to the next one later. Um, but anyways, other than that, uh, thanks for watching and I'll catch you all later.